what is going on guys welcome to your sixth iPhone development tutorial and now that we got all of our code built what we want to do um, is go ahead up to here build and we want to build it and this is gonna pretty much build it and make sure that we don't get any errors if you do have an error go back and fix it but it should be good if you follow my tutorial correctly so now as promised now that we got all that tedious work done we can go ahead and jump into Bucky's button view controller or under your resources file whatever your project name is viewcontroller.xib double click that and it'll pop up your interface builder for you so go ahead and I'm gonna arrange everything nice and neat and now we can go ahead and add all those labels and text to the screen so the first thing we want to do is add a label to the top of the screen remember and go ahead and uh, just expand this a little bit there we go and you actually want to go ahead and delete this text because remember we're going to have the buttons titles pass in whatever the title is and pop up for text so we don't want anything there by default just keep it in the top so now we have a label a blank label with no text on top of our screen so now let's go ahead and add two buttons go ahead and add one right there and go ahead and add another one right there it, looks good. it really doesn't matter where you add it on your screen and go ahead and add a title to each of these buttons go ahead and you know, double click it by the way to add a title uh, set this one to blue and set one this one equal to red and now go ahead and using your attributes and if you can't find any of these toolbars make sure tools inspector that's where they all are so go ahead and change the text color of this to well it already is blue isn't it text color blue and change this text color to a uh, red so now we have blue text and red text pretty sweet huh and actually if you click the button and click red it adds that little red border around it so now I have a pretty sweet blue button and a pretty sweet red button and a label at the top so we have three objects on our screen so what exactly do we do from here well what we can do from here gets kind of uh, tricky so you might want to listen up remember that we have these two classes right here called view controller actually they aren't two classes it's one class called view controller now whenever you create your interface builder that class is the files owner whatever class you make is the files owner of that nib file or that XIB interface builder file so this file owner is pretty much that class so if you're saying alright why is this important why do I need to know what file owner or any of this stuff is well since we know that files owner is the class and since we have a bunch of objects on the screen I mean check this out we have a bunch of code in our class we have a bunch of outlets we have some actions and we have all these objects on our screen how exactly do we link each object to each outlet and stuff like that well check this out anytime you want to link an object to an outlet and remember with an outlet you can actually change what's on the screen check this out we have an outlet in our class that we built specifically for this this label right here so what you want to do is this anytime you have outlet in your class and you want to connect it to any object on your screen go ahead select file owner hold down control on your keyboard with a finger or anything you want I prefer a finger drag file owner until it hovers over that label and once it's on that label let go of it with your mouse and now you can see all your outlets and now you can pick what outlet from that class aka what outlet from that files owner do you want to use so if you have 800 outlets you can pick what one you want to use we only have one outlet and that's labels text so that's how we connect it now check this out in order that when you click a button an action gets called here's what you need to do go ahead and select that button I'm gonna select the blue button and now you see where there's button attributes if you go ahead and click this tab right here you get button connections in the button connections tab is how you can connect a button to an action now here is all the stuff yeah amazing huh 
this is all the stuff that you can do with a one button I mean it's pretty much this you can touch a button you can drag inside a button you can hold down a button drag on the outside you can touch a button twice tap your nose do a circle dunk a basketball and then you know touch the button again they pretty much included every possible thing that you can do a button but what we want to focus on is touch up inside this is your basic tapping of a button now since we're already working with a button here's what we do take whenever we tap this button go ahead click down hold down drag it over to files owner right here and let go no need to hold down control in this and now this will give you all the actions possible that what you want to happen whenever you tap that button we want whenever you tap this button use the clicked action right there and let's do the same thing for red the button connectors touch up inside drag it over to files owner what action do you want to do whenever you click this button that clicked method we did right there so now what we need to do from here is go ahead and save it and now in our Xcode right here let's go ahead and build and run this so it pops up and now we go ahead and click blue and blue pops up we click not quick we click red red pops up blue red red blue bam that's our program that's how it works pretty sweet so again one last time let me go exit out of this iPhone simulator what we did is whenever we clicked this blue button what happened it called this clicked method right here and it passed in blue that blue button as the sender so we said alright we pretty much want to take that blue button in this case and get the title of it and store it in an object called title of button and now we want to get the new label text from it and pretty much the new label text is equal to the title of the button and now take that new label and replace it with the old label and then release it when we're done so get the title of the button create a new label from it set the label text equal to that label Make sure it prints out on screen and then release it when we're done. So that's that. That is how you build some simple user interactions. And trust me, by the end of these tutorials, you're going to be a pro. You aren't even going to be thinking about this. It's just going to come so natural and easy to you. This stuff is going to make perfect sense. So I uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. And if you need any of this source code, click on the link below and I'll send it all to you guys for free. So uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next tutorial.